Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Couch Gamer, and welcome back to another video on uh, the Oblivion Cities. This is the last one of these I'm recording. I don't know which order they're going to come out. Let's be real, the Imperial City is going to come out last. But today's city is Leowin. Uh, Leowin is, you know, the southernmost city. It's the only coastal city that doesn't have uh, any, like, docking or harbor or anything like that. Like, Leowin, if you just look on the map alone, like, I'm surprised Leowin doesn't have more harbors, you know? I mean, it's there, but you never really see it have any harbor-based quest around Leowin. So, Leowin, even though Leowin, um, I really don't like it, you know, I really don't like Leowin because it reminds me of where I live. It's all gray and rainy all the time, and, you know, if you live in that type of area, you don't want to play a video game where you live there. It's kind of funny because in The Sims, you can make an esports gamer, and I don't like playing as an esports gamer because it's kind of what I do. Not, you know, I'm not an esports gamer, but you guys get it. So Leowin has some really, really cool quests. Some of my favorite quests take place in Leowin. So, uh, first off, I, I don't remember which Deidre god this is, but you have to do some Deidre quests in Leowin. You have majority of the Fighters Guild in Leowin with Blackwood Company, and I think the Fighters Guild story is very cool because you have a rogue guild coming in and taking business. I just don't think it's the Fighters Guild storyline is beneficial because that doesn't happen until the very end. I kind of wish all of the Fighters Guild was Blackwood Company versus Fighters Guild instead of eh, go around and do a bunch of stuff. A lot of there's drama that happens in the Fighters Guild. I just don't like it. But you know you have Leo or Leowin's Blackwood Company coming in trying to steal business. You have. Uh, the, I believe they're called the White Stallions. You can join this kind of Knight's Order, which doesn't really do much, except it's just a cool faction you can join. You have one of my favorite Mages Guild quests that takes place where this old lady is having visions, right? And she doesn't have this amulet to control them, so she's completely whack. And, you know, this guy steals it from her, and then you go and you have to get it back and you don't know that this guy in the Mages Guild stole it from her and he's part of the Necromancers and it's really really cool. I like that quest a lot because it has definitely some dynamic elements to it. And you know Leowin is just that city. I like the architecture of Leowin. I think it's pretty cool. I like the different colored buildings. I like one of the things that I like about Leowin that I don't think a lot of the other cities have is it has a defined um, and you know, this might sound weird, but I, I like it because I think it adds to the cities. I think every city should have this. Is it has a defined lower class and lower class area and a defined upper and middle class area. I think that it has those areas defined. And you know, I, Leowin has this story where like, there's the Khajiits versus Argonians. There's some racism going on there a little bit. And there's a couple characters that are racist towards Khajiits and Argonians, and I, I like that. Th there, that you you would expect racial tensions to be there, you know. Um, and Leowin, I think, is a very, very much one of the more stylized places in the game, just because it, you can tell there's that swamp culture, that kind of rainy mugginess to it. But you know, that's Leowin. I think Leowin as a city, I. I, I don't like Leowin, but it's for subjective reasons. Way more subjective than, I would say, like Coral, where Coral I don't like as much because it has, uh, to me, uh, not just boring architecture, I think it could be more unique than it actually is, but also boring quests. Whereas Leowin, I think, has more, more of a bolder choice of architecture, right? A very bold choice of architecture, and not necessarily bolder quests, but more unique quests in it. And I'm not saying that objectively Leowin's better than Coral. I know that came off, but I think you guys understand what I'm talking about. Guys, what is your favorite city? Leowin's really cool. You know, I, as much as I don't like Leowin, it's a really cool city. Um, what do you guys think? What's your favorite city? Tell me in the comments below. And what is your favorite thing about Leowin? Is there quests? I mean, there's probably quests that I missed. Let's be real here. I don't know everything about Oblivion. Guys, that's it for this video. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.